This is just real, you guys. This is how it is. So today I'm going to take you into my bathroom and show you what is in my medicine cabinet. I have my toothpaste, my Tom's toothpaste, and this one is their anti-plaque and whitening formula. Then I have my Oral-B Super Floss. I use these. These are just like little flossers. So I actually have a what's called a Maryland Bridge. These two teeth never came in when I lost my baby teeth. So to get in there to floss, I have to use these to get in there. I also have these two powders. They're both from Lush Cosmetics. This one is Silky Underwear. This one is Vanilla Puff. They do not sell Vanilla Puff anymore. Sometimes I will use these under my arms or just in the just in the like little lady areas that you kind of tend to sweat. The silky underwear is uh, jasmine scented. It smells really good and it's really cute. They tell you kind of who made them and packaged them. It's a clean company and both of these containers are made from 100% recycled plastic. I don't know. I just try to do the best I can for the earth when I can. Okay, so next in here um, I have this. This is my Sephora retractable brush. I usually use this to put on my glycolic acid, which is in here. So I have the 50% here and then I have the 30% here. So if you're not used to using glycolic acid on your skin, I would start very low on the percentage. I started with this one, the 30%, and I still will use this one on my neck and my chest, but this one I can already do the 50% glycolic peel. So anyway, you put this on and I'll do a video maybe down the road um, doing it. So you let this sit on your face for one to four minutes. I think it's the same on both, but basically it gets off the rough patchy skin off your face. It's a chemical exfoliant. I put these on, let them sit for one to four minutes. And then I take my container here and this is what I use my Sephora brush for. So I just fill, it's a neutralizer solution that you have to use to get the glycolic acid off your skin. So I put some water in here with some baking soda and then I mix this in and then I go over my face to neutralize the solution after it's been on my face for one to four minutes. Um, this glycolic acid is also in my cabinet. So this one is by Revol uh, Revolution Skin Care. It's their 10% serum, but I use this every once in a while just to put on my face and you leave this one on. So I'll use this one before I go to bed sometimes. I have another glycolic acid. So this one is by The Ordinary. This one is 7%. So this one's the lowest one I have. Okay, so just to give you an idea, this one is the 7%, this one is 10%, this one is the 30%, and then this one is the 50% um, glycolic acid. So I would recommend if you've never used glycolic acid to start with something like this. This one's a toning solution. I just use this sometimes before I go to bed. That one's 7%. And then this one is 10%. This one also I'll use before I go to bed. I would probably start just using this one after you've washed your face then maybe like a week or two later, maybe move up to this one. And then this one is the one I leave on my face for one to four minutes and then rinse off with that baking soda solution to neutralize it. I would wait until you feel okay using these two to move up to this one. And then same with the 50%, just wait until you feel comfortable you after a few times using the 30 and then go up to the 50. I really like my native, so I have two of these in there. So this one is the coconut vanilla, and then this one is grapefruit and bergamot. This one actually is my favorite. This one is the one that I use all the time. It controls my sweat and smell under the arms. And then I also have this one. I probably, this one is by The Healing Hippie. I did like it at first, but I don't like it as much as I like the native. It didn't keep me as dry and stink free. So I have this, but, and it's just kind of sitting in my cabinet, but I won't be repurchasing the Healing Hippie one. I have these two things. So these are from Mario Tricosi where I get my waxing done. Um, it's their Floriani line. So this one is the olive oil satin body spray. And then they have 
this one that is the Magnolia Satin Body Spray. They both smell really good. And you just spray it on wherever you would put lotion or if you just need want to find mist and kind of a pick-me-up, they both smell really good. So this is my Curology line. Curology is a monthly subscription service. They supply a morning and night routine for your skin after you cleanse, um, but it has my tretinoin in it. But I started with my dermatologist with this tretinoin and I can do a video on tretinoin also but this one is the 0.05% and I think that's kind of where you want to start that's a lower percentage of the tretinoin and the tretinoin is retin-a and that helps with uh, skin cell turnover that kind of dissipates as we get older. Then my newest formula which isn't technically in my medicine cabinet it's over here to the side this is the one i get from agency and this is my future formula and it's the same thing same company it's just like the parent company of curology the last two things that are in my medicine cabinet the ordinary niacinamide and this i just um it's high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula i don't really get blemishes but when i do i will either turn to this or the Neutrogena or Rapid Clear for my pimples. I will put this on when I get a pimple and it's gone the next day. So I really like that. And then last but not least, Eminence Organic Skin Care Strawberry Rhubarb Hyaluronic Serum. I received this as a free gift when I ordered something on Derm Store. I don't remember what it was. Oh, I think it was my Elta MD formula, which is down in one of my other cabinets, which we'll go through another day. It smells kind of funny. It's a pink gel, and you just, it, um, it does smell like strawberries, actually, but I don't really like how the smell kind of dissipates after I've had it on for a while. So I won't probably purchase this ever, but it was a nice little gift that they gave. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for joining me for this video. I really appreciate your support. I will go through my bottom two cabinets in another video because that already took way too long and kind of what's on my bathroom counter in another video as well if you guys are interested in that. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Thanks guys. Take care. Bye. And then I have my deodorant. So I really like Native. So I have two of these in there.